Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. First of all, I am loving this setup. I feel like I'm in the middle of a rainforest. It's bloody brilliant. I've just moved home. If you would like to see the full house tour, then I will leave that weekly vlog down below. But yeah, I'm loving this space so much and I cannot wait to see how my kind of like video setup backdrop progresses throughout the next couple of months. So for today's video, I wanted to give you guys some tips and kind of general advice for starting Roaccutane. If you weren't aware, I was on Roaccutane throughout pretty much all of 2016. Gosh, that's so long ago now. I've just realised it's been two years since I started Roaccutane. That's like literally just blown my mind a little bit. I completely forgot that I missed my like second year anniversary. But yeah, Roaccutane has completely changed my life. I had acne for 10 years. It was really terrible. I tried so many antibiotics that nothing worked. And after 10 years of going to my GP, I finally got referred to a dermatologist who put me on Roaccutane straight away. I finished Roaccutane just over a year ago now. I was on it for nine months and my skin is now still perfect so it has changed my life in a really big and positive way but I do know from personal experience that getting referred to a dermatologist to be prescribed Roaccutane is one of the most exciting yet absolutely terrifying and nerve-wracking times because on one hand you've finally been prescribed something that could ultimately clear your acne for life but on the second hand it comes with an awful lot of side effects and kind of warning signs and it is very scary. It's not an easy medicine to take. And so having been through all of that, I wanted to give you guys my top advice for starting Roaccutane. So if you have just been prescribed Roaccutane, then I think this advice will be really helpful for you and it's so exciting. I'm so excited for you guys. Okay, so my first tip and probably the most obvious is to stock up on lip balm. Roaccutane works by kind of just removing all of the oil production from not only your face but your entire body. So your whole body will be dry. Your lips are the part of your body with the thinnest skin and so you are pretty much going to see instant kind of side effects in the form of dry lips. So stock up on lip balm. My favourites were Carmex, Blistex and also Burt's Bees original lip balm. I loved those three because they tingled on the lips and when your lips are dry and flaky and sore, I just loved the feeling of the tingle. It really felt like it was doing something. So they were my top three. I would highly recommend those. If you have a bit more of a higher budget, then I really do recommend Elizabeth Arden's 8 Hour Cream. That kind of is like a multi-purpose balm that you can use on anything. So even if you start getting eczema wash or on Roaccutane, you can use it on that. So yeah, stock up on lip balm beforehand. Second tip is to wear SPF every single day. Your skin is going to be super sensitive to the sun and sun exposure whilst you're on Roaccutane because you have no oil production. You're very likely and susceptible to burning. So just from the get-go, wear a high SPF every single day, even in the winter. I started my Roaccutane in the May of 2016 and I finished in February 2017. So I kind of saw through all seasons and I wore SPF 40, if not 50, every single day, even in, in the winter. And I didn't burn, my skin is still in great condition, I didn't get any sun damage and it's just not worth risking. I will leave a link to some of my favourite face creams within SPF, the ones that I used throughout Roaccutane down below if you want to go and check those out. Tip number three is please be prepared for your skin to get a lot worse before it gets better. You need to be aware that your skin will break out in the first couple of months but please don't get disheartened with this, it does happen to everyone. Um, and it does take time, so be prepared, expect the worst, because then you're only ever going to be pleasantly surprised if that doesn't happen. I filmed my bare face every single day whilst I was on Roaccutane, and if you watch um, month one, day 18, you really see the effects of my initial breakout. I don't feel beautiful at all, it feels, and my confidence is really low today. Basically cried and poured my heart out, barefaced on camera because the initial breakout was so bad like it it made my acne so much worse but it does get better so keep that in mind tip number four is kind of following on from that you have to be patient Roaccutane isn't a quick 
fix. It's a miracle medicine, but not in quick form. I have so many people messaging me saying, I've been on Rakutane for one month, for two months, for three months, and my skin is still not perfect. It's gonna take more than that. It's gonna take a really long time for your body to kind of unlearn acne. Um, I was on the medicine for nine months. I expected to be on it for six, but my dermatologist recommended nine, and I was honestly quite happy with that. If it meant that it had less chance of my acne coming back, then I was happy to do that. So please do not like get to month four and give up and stop taking the medicine, because your acne probably will come back. You need to finish the full course, you have to be patient, it will be worth it, don't panic. Tip number five would be to try and talk to people about how the medicine's going and how you're feeling as much as possible. It's such an intense medicine and the side effects are so draining both emotionally and physically. So I think it will really help for you guys to share how you're feeling with other people, update them on your side effects, especially if you know someone else who's been on the medicine that's so great, share experiences with them, that's what the internet is amazing for. And especially with the mental health side of Rakuten, I know it has had some really kind of scary headlines in the press kind of surrounding Rakuten and the effects it has on mental health. So I think just update your friends and family on how you're feeling. If you're having a hard day, let them know. Feel like you can talk to people because you can. People are always going to be there for you. Tip number six would be to try, if you can, to photograph your face every single day whilst you're on the medicine. That is something I did and it helped me so much. It really allowed me to kind of document how good my skin was getting and if I was having a bad day I could look back at the bad pictures and be like, oh actually my skin is actually getting better. It's slight and it's subtle but having that kind of document really really helped me and it's also great to show people look this is how bad my skin was and now look how amazing it is take a picture or film your skin every day if you can tip number seven would be to wave goodbye to waxing and bleaching beforehand you cannot wax your skin whilst you're on raracutane because your skin is so sensitive it will cut at the slightest like tap of the skin so you will be left with a, like bad scarring and bad skin damage if you do wax whilst you're on Rakuten so get a top up before you start your treatment and then stick to plucking or threading whilst you're on Rakuten it's just not worth the risk similarly I was way too scared to bleach my hair whilst on Rakuten because my scalp and my whole body my skin was so sensitive um, that I thought if I put bleach on my hair, which is like a strong chemical, it could really like blister and hurt and burn. So I didn't want to risk that. I just got my roots blended into my hair um, at the start of my treatment and let my roots grow out. And then I felt like a new woman after I finished treatment because not only did I have clear skin, but then I also got a hair hair dye and it was great. Tip number eight would be to invest in some nice gentle skincare. You don't want to use anything too harsh or uh, abrasive on your skin whilst on Rakuten. You want some really simple products with some really good clean ingredients. Some of my favourites, I've done so many videos on what my favourite skincare products were throughout Rakuten, but the Everclear H range from La Roche-Posay was just dreamy and I still use that now to this day because my skin just seems to love it but I will leave previous videos and blog posts on the kind of skincare stuff that I used uh, below so go and check that out if you're after some recommendations I seem to have forgotten how to talk all of a sudden what's happening tip number nine would be to do your research about the side effects so you are fully prepared and know what to experience I did so much research before I started Rakuten and that really helped to kind of prepare me on what to expect so if I woke up and my lips were cracked at the side and bleeding I was like this is fine, this is normal, this is supposed to happen, this happens to everyone and it didn't freak me out um, whereas it would have done otherwise. So yeah, do some research, you can watch my videos if you like, my skin diaries so you can see kind of my side effects throughout the full time I was on it but yeah, research. 
it's always a good thing. Tip number 10 would be, very importantly, don't pick your skin. Your skin is going to be very fragile, it's going to be delicate, and you could really um, harm and damage your skin with scarring if you do pick your spots or pick flakes. Everything was going really well until like, I picked a blackhead which was tiny, it wasn't even a spot. I don't know why I did it. And now I've got a kind of infection on my face where it was that's kind of an example of how fragile and delicate your skin is going to be so do not pick if you have if you get spots and you're picking them whilst from rectin you could really leave some damage and i do have a lot of scarring on this cheek and my forehead especially from that so from personal experience it's just not worth it and tip number 11 would be to moisturize on a daily basis i've always been really lazy when it comes to moisturizing my body but your skin is going to be very dry all over and you might even get it eczema that's what i had really badly throughout Rakutane. even your hair is going to be dry so kind of spend a bit more time on you and self-care moisturize your body when you get out of the shower put a hair mask in once a week and i think your body will and your side effects will probably definitely thank you for it so that is everything i really hope i've given you some good advice here to follow if you're about to start raracutane if you've been on it let me know in the comments if you have any other tips you would like to add on to the end of this if you have any questions as well for me please leave them down below just for reference i was on raracutane like eight eight and a half nine months um, I was on 20 milligrams of isotretinoin or Accutane for a month and then I went up to 40 milligrams of the medicine for the remaining 7-8 months. So I was on a really low dose. They work it out um, according to your body weight and height, I think, because it is a very serious medicine. So yeah, it's so exciting. If you're about to embark on this journey, please keep me updated with your skin and how it's going. I'm so excited for you because I can remember how excited I was when I was about to start. But yeah, I think with these advice, you should have an easy ride with it all. I love you lots, guys. I'll see you soon. Mwah!